Hello, this is the Alar, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest Pure Bound. Last time, we finished with the. We got finished with all the eight sanctuaries, and we need something to help us get to the moon. Unfortunately, Diamond Tear stole the thing, and now we have to get a replacement. Our replacement is at the meteorite in Ponyville. Unfortunately, the Nightmare Forces will not let us go that easily, and I was having some difficulty getting back here, but I'm at the point now where some enemies I can one-shot, or insta-kill, with a back attack, and I don't get too many back attacks, so. So let's keep it going, and I'm sure I'm about to hit a boss. It's something shiny that you can reach. Do you want to try and get it? Yes. He got the meteorite piece. No? No boss? Really? That's kind of a letdown. Now I just gotta find a place to teleport. Ah, uh, you missed the epic fail of me walking out of the house one time. All the rest of my party was dead because I just wiped. I was going out to teleport to Saturn Valley. And one of these evil eyes diamondized me. It was hilarious, but depressing. And luckily, these things are now pretty easy to kill for me. The crystal ponies are still giving me some trouble, and so are these, actually. If they can get that off. This seems like a good spot. I'm probably totally wrong, but... Saturn Valley. Excellent. Let's rest at Mr. Saturn's house. K.O. And save, I'm not doing that again. That's why my money's getting back up there. Oh! Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom don't have much to go. For their levels. Dad's like, You never sleep! Go to bed, you damn kids! Hey, Dr. Hooves. Guess what? Hmm, if I only had a piece of a meteorite, I might be able to extract an insect tonight. Okay, you want us to give it to you. I get it. Ah, yes, this is fantastic! What? Well, I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It's very intriguing. Alright, leave everything to us and you get some rest. This game most fascinating. Okay, so... I talk to anyone else. Zoom! And... That's the same thing you said before. I'm going to take a guess that Pinkie Pie says the same thing. But I do want to see how much this vintage comic sells for. I kept forgetting to sell it. Mostly because I never went to my inventory to look. So, Mr. Saturn, do you like comics? Especially those of the vintage variety. Yes, I want to sell things at you, boy. Vintage comic? Most us pay that is 2,000. That's not that much. But it has no other uses. Oh, withdrawal. Kind of wish it let you choose, you know, during it, like, you hit the numbers and then you can press down and you can choose withdrawal or whatever there. But, it doesn't, so, no point in complaining. Okay, let's take his advice and go rest. Yes, I want to slumber. K.O. Uh, 
Okay, guys, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? And complete! The phase is stored version 2. Ready to go. Miss Pie was also able to give it extra functions. It has an ice cream dispenser in case you get hungry. It can also make your body fixed in time and space. So if something horrible happens, you'll go back to when you use this function. Kind of like a save. There is one thing. I don't know if you'll be able to get back. It's designed for one trip. Going to go through with it? No. Well, even if you're not completely ready, sometimes you just need to rush and grab life by the horns and say, I'm the doctor! Basically, run. Except you wouldn't say that because you're not me. I know it may seem scary, but I want to let you know, I don't leave ponies behind. Well, I, this, as he said, this is a point of no return. Not like the last time I said it was a point of return. This time it really is. And I still have two more ultimate weapons to get. Both of which are in Manhattan. So... Yep. I need to... Do I have a neutralizer on me? Yes. Since the Roman candles don't work on them, it's very depressing. Sapphire Shaws! I should probably hit her. At least until the neutralizer gets off. Oh boy. Um. Okay, I can remove numbness. Remove from bloom first. Shield. Spy. Um, more paralysis removal. Get her off dinky. A present by the end. Well, then, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Okay, I need to keep bashing. I've not done the neutralizer yet, so let's give an offense up. We haven't actually used that spell on anyone. Okay, you need to use the neutralizer. No, not sleep. Okay. This is fine. This works very well. Did I use winter on her earlier. I can't use the Roman candle, so just bash. And I should probably get rid of Sweetie Belle's Paralyzed. Dodge quickly. Great. Let me get shit off of... That wasn't why I wanted to choose. And everyone's numb now. Great. So you know what? I think I'm going to have to do this on the offense. Can I flash her? Probably not, but... And I don't remember what, what Freeze did. 
That wasn't what I wanted either. this battle recovering and that's a problem. Stop that. I don't have anything to resurrect, do I? Well, it's gonna have to do this the hard way. Kill her. Probably not. Oh, great. Okay, can I get status off myself? No. Well, we're probably fucked right now. Does paralysis ever wear off? I may need to strategize, actually. Give me a moment to think. I feel really stupid now. It's about an hour and a half later. I went to go do some levels. I tried to go farm a 1 in 128 chance item from the changelings. And just overall trying to figure out what I could do to defeat Sapphire Shores. But I don't need to defeat Sapphire Shores now. If you remember, I made a note after I used a spy thing that I stole the weapon from Sapphire Shorts. The concert mic. That is the late, er, Sweetie Belle's ultimate weapon. It lowers my offense by 10, but it raises my guts by 100. So, you know what I'm thinking? Let's try this with Rainbow Dash. I 
never considered it. I'm like, oh, I died. It's just going to, it's just going to take it away from me and blah, blah, blah. Then I remember, you know, it doesn't give me my bottle rockets back. Maybe, just maybe. So, I guess that's legit. Go try to steal it from Rainbow Dash. That will make the next part a lot easier. Come here, Rainbow Dash. I have something I need of you. Not that one. <laughs> no, really, I was just surprised when I thought about it, I'm like, I wonder if it's still there. And then it was. It was a Thunkin. Clearly not me for an hour and a half. I think it's this way. Hello, Rainbow Dash. Or are you? All right, we have to use the cobbler. Of course, since Rainbow Dash actually triggers as a boss, it could be a completely different story. But, I'm not beyond trying. I got it! I don't care if I die now or not. So I'm just gonna die. I made this all a lot easier. Bring me your your rainbow omega. For that matter, when does get a little rainbow omega? I know there's a Star Storm Omega, so not unreasonable that there's also. There we go. Now everyone is dying. Yeah, yeah. Kill me now. Killing me fast enough. I'm almost tempted to heal myself to try to see if I can actually kill her. Nope. Well, I didn't heal myself, so. <laughs> I got the scooter, I got the scooter, <laughs> And it should put me back in Saturn Valley, too. Excellent. I have to heal them. And then I can rest. And then I can go to the final area. Joy. Repair my body, Dr. Saturn. I'm all fixed up, goody boy. And before I forget, why don't we just give that cutie patootie scooty to Scoot. Equip? What's, the, what's his body? Or her body? No, seriously, where is her body? Give me another moment. I found it! It's kind of in the northeast corner of a lost underworld. Let me just switch it over. And make sure I'm right. I've been known to be wrong. I'll take it. Always meet you back in Saturn Valley. 
Okay guys, it's time to go to the moon. Ice cream dispenser. Yeah, yeah, don't know if I'll be able to get back. Yes, don't be afraid, get right in. Ooh. No. The moon, the moon looks oddly familiar. Uh, hey Rainbow Dash, are you real? Hiya, Scoots! Awesome! You're really showing that nightmare who's boss, but I think you could still be a little bit cooler. So I'm gonna do this. Scoot became conscious of Rainbow Omega. Yay, so that's when I get it. Hello, Mr. Saturn. Kidnapped, I was boing. Kidnapper, bad pony, bad pony gone. Zoom. Where? Space. Ding ding. So, remember this place? That's where we... That one cave in the Lost Underworld. No problem here. So... Oh, hello. The final phase of Stordor is complete. We could finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's help. So it turns out that the nightmare is on the moon. Because it must feel like home to her. So... You know when you're spoken to every pony and you're ready to go. Don't worry, Dinky. Even though you'll be really super far away, we'll all be with you in our hearts. Besides, I know you can't lose. Otherwise you... We, otherwise you wouldn't make it to your thanks for saving the world party. Yeah, I suppose you're right. We here too. Boing! Kidnapped, I was boing. Kidnapper, bad pony, blah, 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 blah. Okay, what's... In order to defeat the Nightmare, you'll need to take the fight to her. Right now, that's the move. Phase of Story 3 can take you there, but it doesn't seem to have any way to take you back. The Sparkle is working tireless to find a way. Tireless, not tirelessly. But I fear she won't finish in time. Can't send you there knowing you'll die. You have to... Um... Vain... Pun I missed part of the word. But... Doesn't have any way to take you back. Sparkle is working. But I fear she won't finish in time. I can't send you there knowing you'll... Die... Something. Okay, I'm going... What? What? No! I just can't let you go to the moon. I did just explain horrible dieiness. Didn't sense. Well, I guess I can't stop you. You'd probably just sneak on board when I wasn't looking anyway. But if you're going to do this, we should at least do this right. Phase of Sora will protect the field of air and gravity, but it won't last very long. Also, take up can be a bit horrible. So I need to fasten you in. Really fasten you in. One moment. Sorry if it's a bit tight. The blasting bolt should blow up the restraints when you land. Now all you have to do is push the red launch button. Blue. Uh, no, that's the radio, which I haven't actually hooked up. The red button. Green. Now oh, you're just being spiteful. Look, I'll do it myself. One of these days! Bam! Zoom! Straight to the moon. Well, at least I didn't have to turn into a crazy robot or something. Input your command. Ooh. I'm pretty sure that revives you too, so. Bring. In the original Earthbound, this would, um. They would actually turn you into robots to come here. So yeah, that was a thing. Oh well, if I'm going to instantly kill things when I get here... That's going to make this a lot easier. We got Wild and Wooly Trampler and its cohort. Wild and Wooly Trampler and the Ultimate Octobot. I don't know which one's worse. Wild 
Let's just do what we normally do. Beat the shit out of something. Until it dies. We'll get harder enemies along the way. But for now, we must make our way through this place. With the thing. Maybe something's gonna hit me this time. Ow. Ooh, two things are gonna hit me this time. Or not. Yeah. Pretty much, I hope you're ready for a very long, long run. I probably should have brought more food, but I didn't, so we're not. Wild Wu Shambaran's cohort, Crystal Trader. So basically, it's kind of the same shit we saw in Ponyville, except now there's a wild and a wooly shambler. This is the thing that wrecks ya. That works too. I'll just use the thing. I have a couple of Psy items, or magic recovery items. Max out, max out, max out, and maxed out. Works for me. Also, butterfly. How, to, how a butterfly is surviving up here on the moon, I don't know. But hey, butterfly. In the sky. Something about, take a look, it's in a book, it's reading it. Squatter Demon. Oh my god, I'm doing so much damage. I do not remember this part of the game being this easy. Then again, when I was younger, I used to just do this part of the game where, however I was. And we don't want to fight the nuclear reactor robot first. It will blow up on you. Man, normally I would have died like three times by now. See if I can get some good crits on it. I won! Well, it just didn't give me a back attack. Take care of the Crystal Trader first, because... That's a pain in the ass. And you didn't get to cast it. It is a pretty long path, though, so... I'm gonna guess once you arrive here, automatically sets your... your place to go after death to... the... the time machine. Or... Space machine. Phase Disorder. Work for me. 
Did something other than refuel itself? That's impossible. We're gonna be getting a lot of level ups here. Especially when we get into the harder part. What's in the box? Future mail. In case you didn't get the the one thing. Cardboard tube. Actually, a cardboard tube does a lot more damage, and but lowers your guts so much. Plus, it also makes you go back to a ranged weapon, which, nah. I like how I can still fill her HP with the the beta. Hello, giant ball. Okay, here's the second part. I'm gonna just heal everyone. That's why I should have done in the first place. Sombra's chosen! Oh, is this his mate? <laughs> Yay! And another ball. No. I'm sure I could have gotten more butterfly things, but well, like I said, we still got a few things. Playing a brain food. Oh man, are we gonna have finale next episode? Probably gonna be a long one anyways, but I think we're gonna have finale next episode. Okay, I'm not dealing with this shit. Okay, that didn't go quite like I had planned. Still not going quite as I planned. But someone didn't realize that the Chosen had the thing. Well, I think we're going to call it a few minutes early, and I'm going to have to run back to that part. We're all the way back here. Anyways, this has been Theolir. I hope you enjoyed, and have fun!